Hi, this is Rick. I recently completed two repair scripts, one for AI and one for player. AI repair script allows the any AI controlled vehicle for the AI occupants to repair their own vehicle. The other script is, allows players to repair the vehicle they're driving. It doesn't matter whether they are an engineer or whether they have an, a repair kit they'll be able to repair. So it's basically any player can repair their vehicle or any vehicle. If they have a repair kit, obviously that'll speed up the repair process. So what I'll do is I'll simulate damage on this vehicle to show you the player repair process. The player is in this vehicle at the moment. And then I'm gonna trigger these guys to get in nearest. This trigger will only fire when I call it using Radio Bravo. They'll climb into this vehicle, they'll drive along here, they'll get to this trigger, this trigger will fire and um, trigger a little, a little um, animation on the gate man, the gate man being this guy, will push down on the boom, boom will open, truck will come through here, pass down this uh, road, get to this trigger, when it gets to this trigger, It'll pick up the first element in this list. Check to see whether it's a car or a tank. If it is, then this trigger will fire. IED, IED 1 will be set damage 1, which is this little IED over here. It will then set damage to the left front wheel, the right front wheel, left front wheel 2, right front wheel 2, left back wheel, left right back wheel, middle wheel, left middle wheel, right middle wheel, engine and fuel will take a 0.5 damage. And when that happens, the, um, the vehicle will be immobilized, meaning can't move will be, or can move will be false. So the engine will then trigger them to jump out. Now, the, the way the AI repair process is triggered, if we look at this AI vehicle, we have an event handler on this vehicle and the event handler that we're using is get out and the reason we use get out is because armor 3 engine triggers uh, an automatic get out on vehicles when they when the vehicle can't move and it's sustained a certain amount of damage so i'm not overriding the basic engine functionality which is generally a good thing when it comes to ai uh, so they jump out then the event handler checks to see whether the vehicle is a land vehicle and if the unit is the leader of the group and it's not a player, and it checks to see if the vehicle has damage. And the way it does that is it checks the third array in the hit, get hit point damage, and it checks to see if the max value of the damage array uh, is over one, 0 0.1 or 10%. If the vehicle has got more than 10% damage, then it passes the unit and the vehicle to the ROS AI repair script, which is contained in the subfolder ROS repair. So they'll get out, they'll take up defensive positions around the vehicle, and then the, the leader of the group will move around to a position, move into the vehicle, get close to the vehicle, and then go into repair process, play sound effects of him repairing. Once it's repaired, he will instruct them to get into the vehicle, and they will then drive off to the next waypoint. We've been testing this script for uh, the last two months. That's my uh, my Armour 3 group. And uh, it seems to be pretty robust and uh, reliable. Same thing applies with the player repair script. We've integrated that into Liberation. And uh, it's a very useful feature. Particularly with large persistent missions where you hit a rock and take out the tires on a vehicle and you've got to walk miles. Uh, so being able to repair any vehicle is uh, a useful feature particularly as i said in a persistent mission okay so i'm going to um i'm now going to just demonstrate the player repair and then i'll trigger the ai repair Let me just get the guys out of the vehicle first. Disembark! Roger that. Standing by. Move back. Understood. Okay, so I'm going to simulate some damage. 
you look at the hit point damage is half on the 50 percent damage on the on fuel one on the engine and then uh, eight wheel hit points damaged if you're within seven meters of the vehicle you get a repair option this is a little toolbox next to him and on the progress bar in the middle of the screen it shows you what he's currently repairing like he's doing the engine right now you notice that when the wheels come back on they don't change the alignment of the vehicle relative to the surface normal underneath it of the terrain and the reason for that is to stop the vehicle potentially flying off into the air as you notice sometimes with the physics uh, issues uh, occasionally you'll notice that um, a vehicle would flip over or do some weird stuff and that's because of the relative alignment to the terrain underneath and the physics of the object itself. Um, I also noticed that the particle effects had been switched off on the vehicle which was quite complicated and tricky to do because some, some uh, particularly modded vehicles um, have slight problems with particles once the, par once the vehicle is completely repaired if you Notice that the, and if I check global damage, global damage zero and all hit points zero, not surprisingly. So the vehicle is clearly not damaged, but if I, if you do repair the vehicle, then the particle effects are not removed. Okay, now I'm going to show AI repairing their own vehicles. And take up positions. The pair moves into position. Puts down a repair case next to him. Copy.
Get in that vehicle. Roger. Okay, this is a demonstration of tracked vehicle repair by AI. I'll just speed it up. It took fairly extensive damage if you look at the hit points. Four, get in that vehicle. Three, five, get in that vehicle. One, two, four, that vehicle. Will enjoyed this content and are new to this channel make sure you click on the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can get notified when we release new content as always thanks for watching and see you next time